hello students this is uh, lecture number 27 okay and uh, we are into chapter 7 and 8 So, so far in the last video lecture, we looked at the four noted quadrilateral element uh, which can be of irregular size and what we did, we uh, map that into isoparametric element. So, so this was mapped into uh, minus 1, minus 1. 1 minus 1, 1, 1, minus 1, 1 type of system. So, xi and eta type of system from xy system. Okay. And we calculated the, the stiffness matrix K uh, was given as, so we actually did minus 1 to 1, minus 1 to 1 and and uh, we had B. So, we had uh, uh, B as a function of xi uh, omega, xi uh, eta. So, that is what we did something like this one and uh, we had here j, yeah. so we had j, uh, we, we are talking about we had the, for the eleven, uh, eth element we are trying to find out the, so this is basically the transpose of that, uh, this inverse and transpose. Then we had the D matrix and then we had uh, J the inverse of that. Then we had B xi eta system and then we have the Jacobian determinant of that. So, this is Jacobian for that element and uh, then we had D xi d eta. Okay. So, this is what we got. The next thing is actually say how do you find these values or why do you find these values? These are the only one which are remaining basically. Yeah. So, uh, so this one uh, here the the values of this as we said earlier uh, that has to be obtained from the uh, given the relationship right so and this also comes from the the from those values so where we know that this is where where uh, first we write j e so j e uh, will be given by so del x del xi del y del xi then we have del x del eta and del y del eta so this is what the matrix is this is jacobian matrix and we can find out this one uh, because we have the relationship so, what is the relationship? We have x equal to like this n i which is a function of xi and eta and x i. So, i equal to 1 to 4. Yeah, uh, so, you have to find out this del x over del xi we can find out like this one. So, del x over del xi will be equal to simply i equal to 1 to 4 del n i over del xi yeah x i okay and uh, similarly 
other things. So, we can find out del x over del eta is equal to i equal to 1 to 4 del n i del eta then x i. So, we can also write y in similar fashion. So, y equal to i equal to 1 to 4 and then n i xi eta y i. Okay. So, hence you can find out del y del eta sorry del x over del uh, no okay sorry del y over del xi is equal to equal to i equal to 1 to 4 del n i del xi uh, then y i and similarly del y over del eta will be equal to i equal to 1 to 4 del n i over del eta times y i. Okay. So, you can see that how the if you have to write x the whole uh, from there we can actually relate. Yeah. So, uh, this since we know this one and hence uh, uh, the since uh, j e is given by del x over del eta del uh, y over del eta sorry xi xi sorry del x over del sorry del uh, x over del eta and del y over del eta okay so so that really means this so we will have a four of them so we have this first then this first this first then this and then this that is what we have so we can write simply this will be equal to yeah and this summation all the summation of this thing so we can write on the next page so j e hence will be given by is a big matrix like this and del over so there will be a summation first summation equal to 1 to 4 del n i over del it uh, xi x i okay then we have the here i equal to 1 to 4 del n i over del eta okay x i okay then Similarly, here i equal to 1 to 4 del n i over del uh, xi and then we have y i. Similarly, here i equal to 1 to 4 del n i over del eta y i this is what we get. If you want to write it differently we can also write it uh, something like this so, j e will be equal to and uh, we can write it as like this. So, we will have uh, del n 1 over del xi we are, we are going to just separate them out. So, del n 2 del xi del n 3 over del xi yeah so del n 4 over del xi okay similarly here it will be del n 1 over del eta del n 2 over del eta del n 3 over del 
eta del n4 over del eta and then we multiplied by this which one x1 x2 x3 x4 and y1 y2 y3 y4 and you can see both are actually the same so a so this one this one is what this multiplied by this one so this multiplied by this plus this multiplied by this and so on so this multiplied by this is this so you can see this multiplies to this this multiplies to this and so on similarly this uh, here this multiplies to y so the okay just a minute so this one we have del okay I think uh, there is something something wrong here or seems I made a mistake so if we go this side what it says is here this has to be dy over dz so dy over dz so y is this uh, where is y y is this one so hence we have y1 y2 y3 there you know so instead of this one so this is wrong so okay so i make a correction uh, we should have here both xi terms so this we should have xi okay and uh, this we should have y term y so here we should have eta and here we should have x term okay and then this is correct so okay so note that so this this has to be xi y eta x and this is correct so now it will match so so well now we see that this goes with this one so here this goes with this one y1 y2 so here this be this so here this be this one so here so now this matches okay so this is how we can find out z and uh, uh, accordingly we can uh, like a, this will be one expression right so the this is values will be just n1 for example can be found out like we know already so based on that we can find out so where we know that n1 for example you remember was xi uh, sorry xi plus 1 then sorry xi minus 1 xi minus 1 eta minus 1 divided by divided by 2 uh, divided by 4 sorry divided by 4 so this will be minus 1 and minus 1 for example so 4 divided by 4 so this is like this so hence hence uh, del n1 this i'm just giving one example this by uh, dz equal to 1 over 4 n minus 1 okay and hence uh, also del n1 over del uh, eta will be 1 over 4 xi minus 1 and so on so we can actually find out these values and put it here yeah and then we multiply by this one to you get the this matrix so what we see here is uh, basically in this uh, b matrix the here uh, here what we see is this one we can actually so this we can find out because j we know the way we have formulated now so this we know d we know like this one and this also we know already b actually the uh, we know that in fact we know the expression even while cal calculating the j that expression come so so here basically this one is nothing but b uh, b xi eta the whole thing is b xi eta only so basically this one 
if you compare with the expression that we derived earlier in the last video lecture, you will recognize that this is nothing but B xi eta only. And let us call this one as a D matrix, yeah. So, we call it D, D matrix, okay. So, so, so basically we can write J E as uh, and so here and so on and we can write uh, J E also. So, th this is a matrix, we can also write it as a B matrix. So, B xi in terms of xi eta and then we have the D matrix, you can say D E okay, for the element coordinate, elements coordinates are stored there. So, D E like this. Yeah. So, so this is uh, how we get Z. Yeah. So, so basically you can also write the K will be in terms of so minus 1 to 1, minus 1 to 1 and then we got uh, B matrix in terms of B we can write. So, let us say where we are when, when we are saying B that means we are talking about this B. Okay. So, I will make one arrow here we are talking about this B only okay, in terms of xi and eta only. So, this becomes B uh, transpose, so B transpose and then J E transpose, but J E inverse. So, uh, so, so, so uh, uh, we are going to write uh, uh, J E inverse basically. So, uh, J E inverse is nothing but uh, we have to write first B times D basically D E uh, which is a vector uh, which is a matrix system yeah so an inverse of that then we get D matrix yeah so this one is nothing but but uh, J E basically yeah so we can write this I am writing this is J E the whole thing is from here to is J E inverse only yeah so instead of uh, uh, and transpose of that also so we are writing uh, like minus T here okay M meaning that when you say minus T means this inverse and transpose both that is what we writing like that. So, here the same thing here like this J. Okay, and then we have uh, J E inverse only. So, we have B D E inverse of that and okay, then we get B matrix. Okay, done and then D, we have D xi uh, sorry we have J E again. So, with a ma this will be determinant. So, we have B D E determinant of that and then we have D xi D eta. So, here now we know that when we s when we are uh, talking about this uh, b, all these b are b as a function of xi and eta only and we can see the k can we get in terms of b matrix, right. So, same b here, we, we have just transpose of that, here we have b, but multiplied by the coordinate uh, matrix x1, x2, uh, uh, sorry x1, y1, x2, y2 and so on is the and then we have to inverse and transpose then we have D uh, ok. So, we know D also D is uh, is uh, K 1 1 K 1 2 K 1 2 K 2 2 yeah for anisotropic material 
and then the same thing here so we can easily we can find out k okay so this tells that we can find out k next remains how to find out the forces and all and the forces we can use the say uh, two types of things so one will be force due to force due to uh, due to the source okay so f s you know uh, comes from equal to you know that this becomes uh, comes in terms of uh, f s i for example the i th one for the i th node so will be equal to n i and we say s a function of x y and d omega uh, for the whole omega okay so we know that right so uh, this is simply we are going to integrate this with n i we get that yeah so this uh, equation have been derived earlier so only thing is n i right now is a function of x y so n i is a function of x y right now so s x y and then d omega so now we have to change it so what we have to do is we have to uh, write n i in terms of xi and eta so we have to write simply equal to uh, n i uh, we can write directly in terms of uh, we can write minus 1 to 1 minus 1 to 1 and n i we can write simply as uh, it has the same value so this will be xi eta we simply convert x to xi eta system from y to xi eta system so basically simply we re write n i in terms of xi eta that's it okay so this and this are same basically only thing is a xi and eta have correspondence to each other so we can just write uh, n i we know right in terms of xi eta and and we are good now uh, we have s so s also we have to write in terms of xi and eta so we write s in terms of xi and eta and then we have this value yeah so this one we know that we just have j e determinant of that and then we have d xi d eta so and we are good so we we don't have to do anything uh, write this in terms of xi eta write this in terms of xi eta and then we integrate like this one right so this is how it will transform to so very simple <clears throat> okay now force due to the so there will be four of i so we can get a four component of this uh, so uh, force due to the source now next will be force due to the the uh, q bar q bar given on boundaries okay so q bar will be given q bar is nothing but q dot n will be given on boundaries yeah so uh, so if that is given then we know that q bar is nothing but it tells you how much heat is going outside so it will be negative so you can uh, take this as the heat loss so if there is a boundary here say this is a boundary like this one n is directed upward so that means this q bar is the heat heat loss heat loss okay so how to find out that's very easy so uh, you have uh, say we don't have to transform now okay so we don't have to do xi eta type of thing here uh, uh, well that can also be done but we can do also the directly there is no problem there so so it is uh, say you have uh, like this one yeah so now you know that what is the meaning of that is this is uh, for you now you have to concentrate on this uh, boundaries only 
So, we have to uh, integrate over these boundaries. So, meaning that we are going from here to here and here to here we are integrating like this one. So, if, uh, if some value say on some arbitrary boundary, so let us say this is our boundary on that uh, q is defined like this one and this is the node number 1, right? this is uh, uh, i th node, this is i plus 1 node, yeah? so this is node node i, this is node, node number i plus 1. So, so how to find out due to this one? So, we can uh, actually, we, uh, we can find out this, f, f due to boundary, uh, ith boundary, let us say we call it uh, gamma i. So, okay, so, so basically, uh, for the ith boundary, so we have i and f comma i plus 1 means two components we are talking about. There are because of that, there will be two forces, right? The two components means uh, the value the q bar may be of uh, along the line q bar will change, yeah. So, we can write that as equal to is equal to. Uh, and we can define s now. So, defining s means let us say we are going from here to here and this is the boundary. So, we, we are defining s, uh, okay, now s has different meaning, but what uh, I meant is a, a, a another, let us say this is z, right, this is z, z is not uh, like third dimension, but th this is the uh, along the along the line, along the boundary, along the boundary, okay, xi i only, yeah, this is a z. So, then we can define q bar as a z, right, yeah. So, this will be equal to uh, uh, which value? This will be equal to simply will be equal to q bar z okay and then n uh, we are going to define different n here which n this n now will work on linear one so this will be maximum here goes like this here it will be maximum here and go like this one so let's call this one uh, n one like this one right and we call it n 2 like this one. So, n 1 as a function of n 1 as a function of z only, yeah, okay. Done. So, or we can write uh, well, it is the same thing. So, uh, uh, also this this is the node number, uh, node number i, this is node number i plus 1. So, I will explain what is the meaning of this one. So, this uh, we call it dz, uh, dz, okay. And then we get uh, from here to here it has gone. So, 0 to length okay length of ith length so from here to here total length is li is the length okay this will be 0 to li q bar z n number 2 z dz like this one what is the meaning of that meaning of this is uh, boundary since it has two node you can treat this as a two noded linear element and whatever is uh, the distributed here for example q is distributed on the boundary itself so so you can do the same as as you did for 1d bar right so for 1d bar so what did you do if you had uh, body force b then if i was equal to nothing but b as a function of x and then you have n 
1 x dx right this one is f i so n i basically what I mean is this n i like this one where n i was nothing but if it is l from here to here l you had 1 minus x over l and n uh, n 1 was like this n 2 was x over l. So, so you, you found like this one right so similar way you are going to find along these boundaries any quantity which is defined here. So, quantity which is defined here is q bar and if q bar is like going like from here you will not take the all the four nodes just you take two uh, you can take this as two noted linear element and uh, accordingly we will calculate. So, n 1 will be 1 here, 0 here, n 2 will be 1 here, 0 here and then you are going to integrate uh, this way to find out what is the contribution of because of q bar to here and here. Basically, what I mean to say is, say is if q bar is constant, you can see that q bar times the length of this divided by 2 will go here and so on. If you had 3 of them, let us say later on also, uh, um, uh, maybe uh, you get some element which is like this one. Okay. So, like this one, you have like 8 noded system and then uh, you come to know the q bar here. So, you have uh, some q bar which will be like this one, say this is the q bar defined. So, in this case you for you it will be a 3 noded system and accordingly you can find out let us say this is f 1, f 2 and f 3. So, uh, similarly you can find out f 1 equal to q bar n 1 and d like this. Okay. Let us say this is gamma i 1 we are talking about. Yeah, so, what we did this is n i. Okay, so, similarly f 2 will be gamma 1 q bar n n 2 and f 3 equal to gamma q bar n 3 and where n 1 n 2 n 3 are shape functions for function for 3 noded linear element. So, so th this is how we will do and uh, this is not that we are getting out of blues not like that you will automatically if you see n 1 value will be let us say we call n 1, n 2, n 3, n 4. Yeah, so, basically this n 1 will be 1 here and 0 here 0 is this will be 0 on this one this will be also at 0 here this will be also be 0 here this will also be 0 here what it will not be 0 will be this and among these 3 also this will be 1 here 0 here and 0 here this will be 1 here and 0 here and 0 here and n associated with this one will be 1 here and then 0 here and 0 here. So, basically on this line only 3 nodes associated with these 3 nodes uh, 3 shape function associated, associated with these 3 nodes are only non zero all others are zero only. So, this will go like this one this will go like this this will go like this hence they are behaving same as the 3 noded linear element and hence you are using a 3 noded linear, uh, linear elements shape function here to find out q basically. So, your f uh, remember that q is uh, a heat loss thing. So, al always we will have minus here. So, remember we will have minus. Okay. So, we will have this f equal to minus here, minus here. So, in all cases this is yeah. So, since it is a heat loss we are going so minus, but here we are talking about the 
the structural system so we have body force but similar analogy we have okay so basically what i mean to say here is is uh, uh, when you have a body force in 2d uh, you will use uh, method given here yeah uh, simply you put uh, n uh, as a function of xi eta you you put uh, s you find out what the s will be in terms of xi and eta you put it there then you are converting this one so you are this jacobian matrix here will be inside uh, determinant of that and then this i d eta we can find out very easily uh, rest is finding out uh, what will the force due to the boundary uh, conditions meaning that there will be heat loss because of the flux which is given or zero here and so if zero here there is no force because of that but if flux is given then there will be the uh, q bar is given what i mean it so then there will be heat loss yeah so uh, q bar is nothing but q dot n so if q dot n is given then it has to be again distributed so you can if it is a linear for example constant value so this q bar multiplied by length of this divided by 2 will go here divided by 2 go with there remember minus you have to add in both the things so because this is heat loss so minus yeah so that does uh, is in nutshell that what you have to do now we will study different kind of element okay so uh, like we had quadrilateral element and we looked at different like we started with the uh, uh, rect uh, rectangular element then we made it uh, a square we looked at that then we looked at the arbitrary shape uh, quadrilateral element yeah and now uh, we want to look at triangular element okay so this is three noded this is a uh, new kind of element Th three noded uh, uh, triangular element okay so there are various ways of actually deriving the equation uh, one will be which is uh, easy uh, this also makes sense and also gives you the different perspective will be something like this so this is node, no, uh, node number one x1 y1 coordinates x2 y2 coordinates x3 y3 okay and then how we are going to do this is number two this is number three and how we define the shape function ultimately this is a shape function right we are going to write down uh, like uh, what the shape function is and uh, this remains universal that uh, we whatever we have studied for any number of nodes we know finally the value is k u equal to f where u is also in this case will be a, a temperature matrix instead of u we can write also write t and k the f uh, we know time and again we have seen that f is a function of two things one is body force that is the s or body source plus the on the boundary there may be some q bar defined and hence you can find out you have to calculate f and also there is the third thing reaction where uh, K where the temperature is given then there will be also reaction there will be third part of the reaction, uh, reaction also. So that we know already so this usual thing in all of them it is the same thing basically and easy to find out uh, this has the all the nodal uh, temperature matrix so only thing is K if you know how to find out K all others is the same thing as earlier ok now how to find out K and k is a standard also that we have seen in all the cases k will be uh, this one uh, and then b t d b d omega yeah and uh, for isotropic and we know that d will be nothing but k times 1 0 0 1 and, uh, and hence uh, k will be simply b t b d omega that is it and there will be k multiplied here ok so that is uh, that is what that is ok so ok no no need to write d again and again uh, basically we can also write uh, like this k times b d you understand then that we are talking about the isotropic condition ok now uh, 
uh, doing all those things we know that what is the meaning of bt in this case there are three noted elements so uh, here meaning of b is like this here b equal to uh, dn1 del x del 1 n2 del x del n3 del x and here del 1 del the okay so this is uh, y del n2 del y del n3 del y so this is what the b is yeah so we have seen a general purpose we have we know that so we can get it from there and b transpose will be 3 by 2 so this will be 3 by 2 this will be 2 by 2 this will be 2 by 3 like this and you get the whole thing is 3 by 3 so you get k 3 by 3 matrix in this case we know that so we know all those things only thing remains now what is n n to n3 and we can find out exactly what the k is and we are done so what is n so one way to define uh, n for triangular element is because of its property and what you can do is uh, you can use like this so here yeah so let's say this is uh, node 1 or x1 y1 node 1 x2 y2 and node 3 x3 y3 and this point in the middle let's call it x and y so this is the point here now this one is uh, our point of interest we call point p basically yeah so uh, we can define like uh, n1 as so let us say this is uh, we have 1 2 and 3 so we have 1 2 3 we can define this uh, n1 as this area this is the point p okay so this is the point p so uh, this is area 1 so okay maybe you draw a bigger one probably that makes it even lie better so let's say our triangle is like this and this is the point here so this is node 1 2 3 and this is uh, p here so joining this b will actually get three areas like this yeah area number 1 let's call it a1 this area number 2 a2 this area number 3 a3 so how we decide this is node 1 so opposite of that is 1 node 2 opposite of that is 2 3 opposite of 3 3 and we can define n1 n2 n3 as like this one n1 equal to a1 over a n2 will be equal to a2 over a and n3 is equal to a3 over a where a is the area of the triangle so a1 a2 plus a3 yeah okay area of the triangle uh, which is equal to you know that we can write 1 x1 y1 half of that of course this 1 x2 uh, y2 and 1 x3 y3 is the area of the triangle is given like this one okay or you can also write equal to delta over 2 where delta is the determinant of this one okay now uh, we can formalize now we can uh, one thing you can see that always the n1 plus n2 plus n3 will be equal to 1 why you can see that n1 plus n2 plus n3 equal to a1 plus a2 plus a3 divided by a so basically a over a equal to 1 so this also uh, behaves like in the shape proper shape functions okay so if uh, this is the uh, basic definition of this one we can now find out the exact value of n1 n2 n3 
and we can find out n1 as we can say like this n1 will be 1 x y 1 x 2 y 2 1 x 3 y 3 half of this, this. So, and divided by delta right. So, so we can write uh, 1 over so uh, 1 over 2 area 1 over 2 area or divided by delta or we can just say divided by delta ok. So, this divided by delta where delta meaning delta is basically uh, coming from here. So, delta means uh, determinant of the whole thing delta means equal to uh, delta means 2 times area right. So, delta equal to 2 times area ok. So, what we get here similarly we can n 2 you can write n 2 equal to 1 over delta and 1 x 1 y 1 1 x y 1 x 3 y 3 ok. n 3 we can write as 1 over delta and 1 x 1 y 1 1 x 2 y 2 1 x y and ok. So, so, so basically uh, how it works uh, basically what I mean to say is first area is this one right. So, this is x y this is x 2 y 2 this is x 3 y 3 uh, hence you have 1 x y coming from here second is 1 x 2 y 2 third is 1 x 3 y 3. So, hence this is the area and similarly for all others also it, it makes sense that way. And also you can see that this is also linear how this is not you can also expand basically you can also expand and you, you can see that this will be equal to nothing uh, you can expand right. So, n 1 will be equal to 1 times this multiplied by this minus this multiplied by this right plus x y 2 minus y 3 plus y x 3 minus x 2. So, x and y are not multiplied x has multiplied with some constant. So, co the coefficient of x is y 2 minus uh, y 3 coefficient of y is x 3 minus x 2 and so on right. So, uh, this is a linear n 1 is so you can recognize that actually n 1, n 2, n 3 are of this form. Uh, basically of n i equal to alpha i plus beta i x plus gamma i y right. So, this is this one is like this ok. So, alpha i plus beta i x plus gamma i y ok. So, so basically this is this, this also follows the 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 Pascal triangle like uh, we have 1 then x then y. So, it follows the Pascal triangle. So, we have 1 then x and then y. So, this is Pascal triangle ok. So, this is the uh, linear purely linear ok. Now, good thing about this one is because this is linear and uh, for you know in order to find out k what do you need? We just need the value of k see here this value of the value of k we need the uh, uh, for k we value need del n 1 over del x ok. So, and so on. So, how to find out? So, you can find out here. So, here n 1 equal to what do you get n 1 over x if you do it then we simply get uh, one of the row which has x that we have to have to differentiate right and then you will get automatically. So, we get uh, like this you can see from here also right. So, del n i over del x equal to b i only. So, just the coefficient of x is the value right. So, here also you can make a comment. So, del n i over del x equal to beta i as and similarly del n i over del y equal to gamma i right. So, this one uh, we can write here uh, del n 
1 over del x equal to nothing but 1 over delta and you get 0 1 0 1 x 2 y 2 1 x 3 y 3 and equal to what equal to simply y 2 minus y 3 we get very a state away we get so this is 0 here so what we get 1 multiply y 2 minus y 3 is the value of this one hence we can extend further we can uh, similarly similarly del n 1 over del y what do you get n 1 over n y you will get simply the this x 3 minus x 2 so you get x 3 minus x 2 okay so so we can expand that and uh, we can write the whole b matrix and b will be equal to simply so 2 by 3 is so the first one we get uh, uh, y2 minus y3 so y2 minus y3 at this we get x3 minus x2 okay rest you can write this will follow the 2 3 then you will have 3 1 then you will have 1 2 and so on so so y2 minus y3 we write y3 minus y1 then we have y1 minus y2 here will be x3 minus x2 so this one is basically minus x2 plus x3 that's what it means so so we have uh, 2 here and 3 here yeah so accordingly we can write uh, x 3 here 1 here x 1 here x 2 here okay or, or simply uh, you have to write uh, x instead of y and then we interchange this also so we have 3 is we have to write uh, 2 where 2 is we write a 3 that is it. Yeah. So, but uh, this is what the b you will get simply what you see here is a constant equal to a constant matrix. So, so what we get k is basically is equal to uh, let us say the uh, isotropic material we are talking about then we will have k and then we have this one then we have b t b d omega and what we have this one is constants this will come out and we have simply k b t b and d omega just the area basically multiplied by area just area yeah so okay now one thing uh, we also have to write uh, 1 over 1 over delta will be there so see here so we have this one but divided by 1 delta so yeah so remember we have that okay similarly the here we can write 1 over delta like this one be like this okay so this one so this is uh, nothing but k b t b and this is delta over 2 yeah a delta equal to 2 so what do we get we k we can write uh, a small k conductivity isotopic conductivity multiplied by uh, uh, one, 1 over delta and then 1 over delta we have uh, twice and then half so we can write k divided by 2 so just write like this so we have two deltas divided by two deltas right so uh, one delta coming here one delta because of this another is this so one over delta square we have and then we have delta so we get k over two delta simply so we get a small k over two delta yeah okay and then bt b and then we have simply we can write transpose of that so transpose of that will be simply 
y2 minus y1 uh, y2 minus y3 y3 minus y1 y1 minus y2 and then x3 minus x2 x1 minus x3 x2 minus x1 and then then uh, same thing we are going to repeat this is the b so we will have y2 minus y3 y3 minus y1 y1 minus y2 x3 minus x2 x1 minus x3 x2 minus x1 okay so this is how you get so this multiplied by this one so we can uh, simply this is the value of k so k right here we have calculated yeah so we we put the value of x1 x2 so this multiply by this this multiply by this and so we get 3 by 3 matrix this is the stiffness matrix once have, we have the stiffness matrix rest we can calculate the way we have done earlier Okay, so that is all for this uh, video lecture.